What's um, name? I just have a general question on um, showcasing your work. Um, other than you know GitHub and um, maybe the other tools that we're using, Myro and stuff like that. Um, have you guys seen anything out there that like catches your mind? Like perhaps I don't know, like videos or stuff like that of people showing their work. How would you show your work to stand out? You know, without having to do you know like a long hour video of how you did your project. I don't know if you guys have you know, any thoughts on that or have you seen anything. Let's hear from the others first. I mean, if you want to showcase your project and you want to do a video, you could, you know, I guess you could do like a YouTube video and only just, you know, and break, break up the videos into just short pieces and just talk about, you know, the, you know, like Andres was saying, like the connect phase, and that could be like a 10 minute video explaining your work there. And then just break up if you want to like talk about your whole project and not be an hour long video because that would probably bore a lot of people we'll just break them up mm -hmm. I, would, know, I would that be sort of the same process as like if you go in an interview and they ask you, you know, how did you do how did you do this type of thing and then you're you know i have a video that sort of does that <laughs> i mean you could probably basically if they asked you in an interview you could you would mm -hmm. you would you could We'll sort of like think about how you would say it, but you could talk about your project in five minutes. If yeah. you, you know, the overall and if they and then, you know, like what I've had experiences, then you know, if they're interested in like took a part of something, they'll ask more questions and that's where you can like drill down and get in more details. Okay. But you could you could just sort of like outline how would you and you know, talk about your project in five minutes or something and or three minutes, do that, and then if they want Lots of time that they're interested, they'll ask more detailed questions, and then you explain further. That's how I generally do it, like in interviews. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? No, not for me. <laughs> no? So I, I, I think it's only uh, there are two things um, for interviews. Let's first look at, inter at interviews. Um, I would first prepare this. So whatever you, wherever you document your stuff, uh, you, that you try to reference this in your CV. That if you get invited to interviews, hopefully the person who is looking over your CV is seeing this link and is, is going there. Right. So that that would be something to actually make an impression before you already before you go go <laughs> nowadays you have to like put go in quotation marks to the interview um, and then once you do the interview one thing that you can always do and that's uh, that's something I uh, recommend whenever you're unsure like uh, if they ask for an exam a specific example and you don't have that try to link this to what you've done before either on a previous every previous work or w with the project like ah well i did the project he that's how i did it there and i did this the yeah because this and that and that that you basically transition into uh, into that reference naturally you wouldn't say well i i did this in that video here check out that yeah <laughs> that's not something you would you would bring up uh but you could say well um that's something I actually I made a video series about that on YouTube and uh, there I, I actually had exactly or almost that thing that problem and I did it like this but generally for what and that was uh, I was talking with Arokia um, he left I think when when you started he had a week or two weeks before he had his last session with me and he had really good experiences with sharing his uh, his stuff on uh, LinkedIn like he made uh, he did LinkedIn um, what's it called he wrote LinkedIn articles and also posted I think uh, on medium as well uh, and he um, yeah he basically did not did not one big thing about his project like he split it up into multiple smaller articles 
and made it uh, one thing that is important is that you make it so somebody it helps somebody so it's not like I just here I present you my work, but like make it specific, like here's how you do this and here's how you do that. And that really helps because people most likely either are interested in that or they have that problem. And then you get found and then, well, he, and Rocky said, well, people are writing me on, on LinkedIn all of a sudden, like oh, they like my article and it really helped them. And... Uh, a few were like contacting him if, if they want to chat and, and so on. So that's that's something that helps. Not like create this one hour video, but create 10 or six 10 minute videos or something. And make this make this helpful and then share it everywhere. And like when Andreas was saying at the beginning, like if you're going to you know post it on your uh, CV, then definitely have like a good read me if you know a hiring manager does want to go look at it he understands like what why you're trying to solve this problem and you know the steps that you take to solve that so definitely have a good read me yeah, should some should people be. will go and look at it if they're interested they'll go and look at your code and you know so make it easy to follow yeah the interesting part or the important part should be in the first if you are on github should be on the first page page of the read me or yeah. if you write blog posts, you could do this on, on, on Medium that you write blog posts and you create one that is like the overview of, of everything. And then make the, the, the individual how-tos as individual uh, posts where you then link to. Like make a list, this is... And so that mm -hmm. every, somebody who goes there can actually just like go through it and, and scroll through it and see. <laughs> 